That's some other stories now. Non-governmental association for literacy support services says it is collaborating with the National Commission for Colleges of Education to implement accelerated second chance education project in colleges of education. The project, which is targeted at giving opportunities to marginalized girls and women, will have the commission train teachers who will help execute the project. Helena Samede Akins reports. Across Nigeria, girls are experiencing various forms of gender-based violence, with many forced into child marriage. In the northern part of the country, girls are married off between the ages of 15 and 18, resulting in a school dropout rate that is very high. In 2017, the UN Secretary General the EU High Representative and the Vice President of Nigeria launched a second chance education focused on eliminating all forms of violence against women and girls. The project Second Chance Education is for people who have missed the first chance to be educated or be marginalized. Non-governmental association for literacy support services is engaged to implement the non-formal education components of the projects. Its officers are here at the National Commission for Colleges of Education to seek its support in training teachers for the projects. NCC, we are so much, very, very much attuned with your mission and your vision. And we are right here saying, that we are very, very ready to partner with you. It is expected that each college of education is to determine the number of classes to be established as the project is fully paid for by the EU and UN. In the phase one of the Spotlight Initiative, Nogas was contracted by UNESCO to implement activity 4.2.2. For now, the project will be implemented in three pilot states, Adamawa, Eboi, and the Federal Capital Territory, for illiterate within an immediate environment of the institutions and later be extended to the 36 states of the Federation. The project is targeting minimum of 10,000 women and girls to provide a second chance and livelihood skills, some of whom may wish to mainstream to the former school system. Helen Osamedei Kings, TVC News, Abuja.